the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. Yesterday, the developers gave us a 75k Chikara code. Watch that on my previous video and the five times event. Now they've confirmed chapter two. Yes, chapter two. They've posted this uh, picture. As you can see, the area where this is located is here, right? So guys, are you excited? I am so excited. Finally, chapter two confirmed on the next update. So guys, what do you need to know? Guys, I'm gonna show you the post. Here it is. Will you be strong enough to save the dimension heart? Once again, from a mysterious villain. Again, this is the mysterious villain, right? So if you're able to fi finish chapter one, this will appear. So we need to save this again. There you go, the dimensional heart. There you go. But guys, here's the catch. I am not sure of this, okay? I am not sure of this. But according to the post, make sure to complete chapter one before update release two. So what if you need to finish chapter one so that you can play chapter two? Oh no, guys. Gamer Nom, that's so hard. What should we do? Guys, calm down. I made a video. How to finish chapter one fast. You have the code, right? 70k Chikara shards and the five times event. So this is what you'll do. I'll run you through. Let's do a speed run of chapter one. Again, first, you need to unlock the fight pass. All you need to unlock here are two things. Bakugo and uh, Marco, the Phoenix, the champion. Okay, so let's go. Let's make this fast. I want everyone to play chapter 2. But again, guys, I'm not sure. So first quest in chapter 1 is to get increments, right? 500 physical strength, durability, and chakra. Guys, if you have Bakugo, it, it, has, it will train strength, durability, and chakra. Okay, so your problem for the first quest is done. That's very fast. You just need to go in a durability training area and punch or train chakra. This quest will be very fast, okay? Okay, so we're done with the first quest, okay? Okay, so next up, they will ask you to like get dragon orbs. Guys, I don't need to teach you how to get this. Just roam around the dimension and you will get seven, okay? Next up, Beast Monkey. Guys, I've been making videos about my dummy account. If you unlock the sun style, if you have moon style, if you have the white eyes, this will be very easy. If you have the sun style, right? Explosive Nova and if you have the fight pass, just use this. Uh, Zenitsu, three or four hits. Very easy, guys. Okay? So we're done with three quests already. Three quests. Next up, after the Beast Monkey, they will ask you to defeat the Dark Demon. Guys, how to defeat this? Same. Use Explosive Nova, Zenitsu, and the Sun Style. If you have White Eyes or Moon Style, better. So this is the trick. You need to spam your skills, okay? And after that, use the X or the first skill of the Sun Style. Guys, make sure to dodge the Lava. Okay, make sure to dodge this one. This, has, this will deal you high damage and the Rain of Fire. Or uh, I don't know how you call it. And that's it. To be honest, this is very easy. This is a very easy boss because you can fly. Okay? Just make sure to dodge those two. Okay? Okay. There you go. Okay, so I think... We're good with this. Next up, they will again ask you to get 3k increments of strength, chakra, and durability. Again, guys, do the strategy that this one use Bakugo. Okay. Okay. So we're halfway there. Next quest, they will ask you to defeat Dark uh, Demon Fox twice. It's, it's very easy. Use that. Three hits. First skill or uh, second skill of the Sun style. Easy. Easy work. But the difference with this is if you use first skill, Get ready to get damage. Okay, you will be damaged mo most likely because, uh, I don't know, maybe Tanjiro is so slow in using the skill. So the boss will really damage you. Okay, next quest defeat to Broly. This is a Piccolo quest. Okay, so there you go. Again, easy. I tried using the first skill, I don't suggest it. You will be really damaged. See that second skill is better. I'm, I'm gonna show you the first skill. See that, guys? Okay, so we are damaged. <clears throat> so after this, Sanji, new quest, will ask you to defeat, uh, what do you call this? This one, Beast King twice. Sorry, I wasn't able to include the quest, but after that, he will ask you to defeat 
the Beast King twice. There you go. Again, same strategy. Again, I used here the first skill, but I got damaged a lot. So avoid using that, even though it deals higher damage compared to, to the second skill. So after this, guys, next up, the Mask Villain. This is the last boss that you need to kill, aside from the Inferno boss. Okay, so after defeating this, again, this is easy work. He will ask you to like find Finrel, right? You know where every uh, everyone knows where Finrel is. But guys, make sure don't use the Sun Style to get to Finrel if you don't finish the quest yet. Some other players did that and they were not able to finish the quest because they tried to glitch. Never ever glitch quests, okay? Okay, so after that, they will ask you to defeat Inferno Boss. Gamer no, this is very hard, guys. Yes, this is hard. This is a hard boss, so I give, I will give you three ways to defeat it. If you finish the fight pass, guys, having Marco the Phoenix is a requirement. This is a must. Marco, or if you have Escanor, yes, better. But Marco, if you have Marco, you can do lots of things. In this part, I will defeat Inferno Boss using the quirk of Ochaku. Okay, so use the exit skill and meet your shower. Very easy, guys. The important thing here is that you can heal. So you really need Mark on the Phoenix. <coughs> Sorry about that. Gamer Gnome, is there an easier way? Yes! If you have fro uh, Fragrant Olive, a Bloodline, uh, Kurama Bloodline, and the Escanor, you can one-hit this boss. Oh, with the help of Kirito. But guys, you don't need to do that. But Gamer Gnome, I don't have the Fight Pass, guys. The developers gave us 75,000 Chikara shards. So make sure to unlock the fight pass. Can I still finish it? Yes, you can still finish it. I have my dummy account. I, I'm gonna show you I'm almost done with it. And I don't finish three quests a day. I only finish one or two. Okay? But now we can finish all. The, for example, uh, my character is uh, required to get 10 QD and it is very hard. Guys, we have the five times event, okay? Okay, so this boss is almost defeated. So... Guys, if uh, there are other ways aside from the quirk, uh, there there's the moon style, the sun style, or the white eyes. Okay, so white eyes is very easy to acquire. That's why I included it. Okay, so that one is for the uh, fight pass users. Next up, this one is for the uh, there you go, white eyes. It's very easy to use. Make sure to include one skill. You need to like stay in the air. To maximize the damage of the third skill of the white eyes, so one to eight pumps. There you go. Oh, oh. See that, guys? Sometimes you cannot predict what will happen, so you really need Marco the Phoenix. Marco the Champion. Okay. And you need to learn the pattern. I, I've posted lots of videos about this on how to dodge the the major damage dealing skills of Inferno Boss. There you go. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna fast forward it, okay? This is faster, but uh, to make it shorter, if you don't have the fight pass, you can use uh, White Eyes or Moon Style. If you have the fight pass, still, you can use white eyes or moon style because it really deals a high damage, but you need Marco the Phoenix, okay? Okay, so that would be it. I hope that everything's clear. I'm not sure if you really need to finish chapter 1, but guys, how can you defeat the other, uh, the chapter 2 boss if you haven't defeated the first, right? It's a continuation. So I'm not sure with that. I hope that you understand what I'm saying here. Again, this is Gamer Nom. And Gamer Nom out.